Hey guys, how's it going? On today's video, we're gonna go ahead and install OEM MTech one side skirts on the E30. This one's a little mangled, but we'll get that back to being perfect. I do already have this side installed, which you can see here. So there's two OEM versions. There's ones with the arch, and then there's uh, ones without the arch. And most of the aftermarket uh, MTech one kits come with, uh, if not all of them, do not have the arch. So the only way to get the arch is to buy OEM side skirts. So let's go over what we need parts wise. Go ahead and include uh, part numbers down below. You need eight of these clamps. These hold the side skirts to the frame rails and here are is the part number so eight of those you need 20 of these hex heads there is the oh, part number for those 20 of those the green clips to for you to these go into the body and then you push these other clips into you will need 14 of these, but you have to buy them in a 20 pack. Uh, these are cheapest to find on eBay. Uh, the rest of these I ordered from the dealer. You will need 14 of these white clips, which go into the green ones. There is the part number for that. You need 14 of those. And lastly, these hold the arch in the front to your uh, fender and there is you need four of these and there is the part number for that now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and mock this up it is best to have two people to do this but you can do this by yourself i found it easiest to start with the the rear arch you'll need to jack up the car and then use a center punch to mark where the holes are and then I drilled them out with self tappers just to get the hole started. And then I went back and replaced the hardware. But so start with self tappers in the back and you can always change that. And then we will go ahead and mount the bottoms. And then we can go ahead and mount the front. So the difficult part about the front is how these push pins mount. So you'll have to drill out two holes into the fender and then the screw goes this way into the arch. So what you'll do is you'll add a little bit of uh, anti-seize, which I find the easiest because it's really sticky. Put some anti-seize on the tip. You'll screw these into the side skirt and then you'll press them against the fender, which will give you a nice hole or idea where to drill. And we'll also do that for the little holes on the inside of here. We'll stick the white clips in these clips go ahead and put some uh, anti-seize marker on the on the tips and then press them against the body and that will show you where to drill the holes all right so we'll go ahead and bring the side skirt back here you can use a jack stand to hold it up if you need to go ahead and grab our center punch and you want to hold it in place it is a ridge That will give us our two holes. And now we can take our self tappers, put these in place. So the biggest thing when lining this up is you wanna make sure this little crevice is right in, in that arch right there. And then we can go ahead and I'm gonna start doing the ones on the bottom just so we can start to fix this bowing issue right here. And then we'll be able to move to the front. So when installing these, you'll have the hole on the bottom and you'll screw in this way. You're gonna press these up into the, the behind the frame rail and then the bottom of the side skirt is just gonna bolt right to it. First one will be right here. So we will go like that, go 
press it in. You can go ahead and start it like lower if you need to. And it's just an eight mil. So that's just with two on. Obviously, if you have a better fitting side skirt than mine, you won't have this gap. But what I'll do is I'll cinch it in with a uh, ratchet strap. Go ahead and hit it lightly with a torch. Um, and it will even itself out. Obviously, I'm going to want to finish putting the ones on the bottom first and then the front ones so that it can be nice and smooth uh, throughout. So I got it ratchet strapped nice and tight. And now I'll just go ahead and start warming up the side skirt. And you'll start to hear it crack a little bit, which is just forming into place. So you're going to need to do this, you know, heat it up quite a bit for it to, to reset. You want to do the top and the bottom. Obviously these side skirts are also getting repainted, so it's not a huge deal. If something uh, heats up wrong, but you want to heat it up nice and evenly. Don't leave it on one spot too long. And then you just want to heat it up, let it cool, and keep repeating the process until it's uh, until it's nice and back in place. You can also leave these in the sun all day and make sure they're nice and hot, and then put them on, uh, and that should help form them. This worked. The other one was a little warped on the other side, so I just did the, the same process. You really want to be doing the whole side skirt, get the whole thing warm, and then get it get it on. Uh, but I'm just going to do it a little bit at a time. Now for the front, we are going to use these right here. So go ahead and take the pins out the back. You won't need those for right now. And then what you'll do is you'll take your screw and you'll put this on the inside of the side skirt. All right, so you can see both of them in there. I'll tighten this one a little more. You just want them to be able to move just a little bit. So what you're gonna do is you wanna make sure this little crease right here is on top of this, and you'll go ahead and set these in and press. So what we'll do is we'll add a tiny bit of anti-seize. This will help us mark it. So go ahead and give the four a dollop. Make sure you're wearing gloves because anti-seize sucks. And then we will go ahead and mark it. And that should do it pretty well. As you can see, we now have one, two, three, and four. And we'll go ahead and drill those out just large enough for those to pop through. And then we could test fit the side skirt. So now that we have the edges and where we want them, you do want to be careful because it is the edge of the fenders. So go ahead and remove the side skirt so that you can get to it. We'll poke two holes through here and then we'll start drilling. So I just drilled a pilot hole and now I'm gonna hit it with a 3 8 drill bit. Um, you definitely wanna get it more on the inside than on the outside. I'm just gonna use a stepper bit to clean these up. And then we can take our clips and go ahead and press them in. Moment of truth, we'll go ahead and test fit it. So the top one is good. So we will go ahead and put it back in. And then 
and pop in the pins. And just like that, it is on. You can see that the door gap doesn't line up right now, but that's okay, because I'll bring it over. But you can see that lip is nice and on there. It could have been just a little bit lower, which you know I could play with adjustments and oval out the holes a little bit and bring it down. But overall, that's pretty good. Actually, I probably will. I will. I will go back and adjust it slightly so that it sits lower. Um, so that's that is the easy part. Now that that side is done, that side is done, and all of the underneath is done. We can go ahead and take off the front two. I'm gonna leave the back ones on, and I'm gonna undo the ratchet strap, which is helping it uh, hold it in place. And what we'll do is we'll slip the white pieces into the back of the side skirt. We will then put some anti-seize on it, push it against the body, and that will give us what holes we need to drill for the green uh, uh, tabs. And then once the green tabs are there, uh, the car needs to get sent off for paint, so I won't finish the install. But what you can do is still add some adhesives and double-sized stick tape here, a little across the top here, and the same thing in the back arch, uh, just to make sure that it doesn't come off. And your install is all done. So I'm gonna go ahead, get the front off, get the ratchet strap off and we'll go ahead and mark what needs to be drilled. All right, I like to do this a few at a time. So we'll go ahead, take our white clips and pop them in. Okay, so we'll start with the first three. Go ahead and put some gloves on, get your anti-seize. And then we'll just simply place them and where you want them. Just like that. There's three. Go ahead and get a your pull punch and knock those out. And then we will go ahead and do the rest of them. So it's hard to tell, but we have all of the points drawn right here. We will be setting these in. It does look to be, again, about a uh, 3 8 but go ahead and drill it a little smaller uh, just in case, and then you can always make it a little bigger just to fit. Drill those out. You will then push these in, and the white ones that go on the back of the side skirts will clip right in. So. Go ahead, drill those out, and we'll be done. So you can see all the holes are drilled. Now what you'll do is take this, and you'll push them in. I'm not going to do that because it needs to get painted. If you're doing this after your car was painted, make sure you, you know, take a little paint on a paintbrush and just kind of get in there so that it doesn't rust. Uh, because it will see the elements. Um, so that's the only thing you want to be careful of. And then what you'll do is add some double-sided stick tape to here. Obviously, if you have some, clean it off. Little, little right here. Same on the other side. And you'll go ahead and bolt it in for final assembly. Just for the sake of it, let's get these finished up and on the car. There we go. Back on the ground. Wheels are on. And MTech One side skirts are installed. I still have a little bit of heating to do uh, to get them to reform. I will make sure and leave all the part numbers below for all the hardware. Unfortunately, you can't buy the side skirts new, so you'll have to just search you know, Facebook groups and on Instagram for a set. Or if you want to offer me some crazy amount for these, I might let them go if I can find a, a cleaner set. But if you guys have any questions, please put them down in the comments below. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's right here at The Mass Driver. If you guys need any BMW parts, E30, E36 M3, Z3M, E46 M3, make sure you hit up my parts page at Rage of Parts. The next video should be the Grogistic MTech 1 kit. I was just waiting on hardware 
for uh, the Euro trim, for the trim molding that goes around, you got to use a, a little bit of a different hardware uh, for perfect fitment. I'd ordered everything. The order got canceled, so I had to reorder from someone else. So that should be here within the week. If not, the next video will be a audio video, so stay tuned for one of those. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you don't follow already. And thank you guys again for watching. Have a great day.